we see a lot of other wearables. Uh, wearables is coming really strong. Uh, it's becoming an industry that is getting more and more mature and, and better and bigger companies. Uh, and within that wearable sector, which we are part of, uh, the whole you know the design is being more and more important. The ability to be able to share more content and just not wear it, but actually make some use of it, is something we see a lot of. Uh, and of course, like smarter and smarter and better looking devices is what I. The thing that stood out the most, uh, probably all the wearables. Um, it's really interesting to see how those are coming along. The wearable devices are just. Uh, everywhere. I mean, you got wearable rings, wearable necklaces, watches, everything. So everything is now uh, trending towards personal fitness and being able to uh, take care of your own wellness and monitor and self-monitor. There's still room for it to progress. Uh, it's still kind of a novelty at this point, but I think uh, as they're progressing, there will be a bigger market for it, and we'll find more applications for it. And that should be interesting to see see the progress on that in the next few years. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see in the next couple of years whether that sustains itself or people end up, you know, deciding, hey, I've got enough wearables that are now in my drunk drawer. I, I don't need those things anymore. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see whether those companies are going to be around uh, uh, in the next kind of five years. To me, the whole convention this year has been about convenience and simplifying. I mean, we're in a world where all these gadgets were almost like so far ahead of us that we never imagined they'd be here, right? And now I'm seeing all these things that are just making your life more convenient. I think the number one thing is that, exactly. A lot about everything connected, it feels like. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth in any kind of application that you can find out with, like in your wall socket or anything, any part of your home. Um, home automation is really taken. Uh, you know, up in the next uh, in the next little while, I, it'll be interesting to see if that continues. Uh, whether or not people are going to really want to have you know automated light switches and, and really purchase and put that stuff in their in their home, or if that also ends up in the junk drawer. So it'll be it'll be good to see over the next couple of years how this all pans out. It's inconceivable that any product will ever be released again that's not connected. And if it's not connected already, within the next three years, everything's connected. And we see here we. Uh, televisions, of course, smartwatches, wearables, drones, uh, cameras, they're all connected to the web, which puts every company in the data business. And so, us as consumers, we are tripling the number to 18 billion connected devices in the next three years. For me, it's more of the virtual reality um, booths um, on the other side as well. It was actually pretty fun. Well, for us, the big themes were virtual reality. That's, that's uh, what I was here for, uh, checking out all the different companies' technology. So obviously, you know, Oculus, uh, Play, uh, PlayStation VR, about to check out HTC Vive. Uh, probably for me, the highlight was probably uh, the Sony uh, VR headset. You know, with the Samsung uh, Gear VR, it's, uh, you, 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 with your own cell phone, it's going to really lower the price on the actual headset. So. Once, once more companies start making other headsets for other phones, just not just Samsung phones, you know, the $600 price point for the Oculus may turn a lot of people away, especially if they have a Samsung phone already and they can just get a Gear VR. And the quality, of course, the quality's, you know, not, I wouldn't say as good as the Oculus, obviously, but when you're looking at it, you really can't tell the difference. So right now, we're in a place where we've got movies, we've got games, and it's totally virtual reality. I mean, it's something that you only dreamed of, but then when you put these goggles on, it's it's real. It's as cool as we ever thought it would sound. Um, having the $99 price point is really just setting it where any consumer can pick one up who has a phone. Because the way the Oculus made it is your phone is the display, right? And that's the expensive part of those goggles. This hardware is holding it in and giving you the functionality, but your phone is really what's making it powered. Um, yeah, I did try the, like the Oculus was very cool as well. Um, I also tried the, the Gear uh, roller coaster 4D uh, demo. That one was very interesting. Um, uh, I really liked how they, they incorporated the seats and it made it, it did feel pretty realistic being on a, on a wooden roller coaster. Well, imagine a world where from home you want your car to come pull up in the driveway, warm the seats for you, and have your GPS ready to go. This is what smart things can do for you. So now connecting your home life with the car before you even get into the car. So think about it just in the internet of things of all three of those things connecting your mobile, your home, and your vehicle. It's kind of scary seeing that someone else can control, you know, your motor vehicle. So I'm kind of iffy on that. I want to control my own vehicle and not have anybody else be able to do it. So 
I saw a lighter that counts the number of times you light a cigarette every day and it gets into an app and gets the status of you. I really like that idea. Great concept, it probably do very well. Well, I think the biggest idea is in the capacity and the size of the show. Uh, technology is here to stay, technology is everywhere, it pervades every modicum of society. There's no getting away from it. You have to learn, you have to adapt. You're going to be disrupted, disrupt or be disrupted, I think is the major, major theme. So everybody is looking to do the highest, best, most, quickest, fastest. And so there's a lot of innovation and a lot of competition out here. I don't know. I, I guess I'm not as easily impressed as Niklas. <laughs> I think the whole scope and the, the quality is impressive. It's, it's amazing how many great products and companies are out there. And, and in every aspect you can think of it, for every... Every part of your life, there is a smart product and, and high-tech product that works with your mobile phone and, and helps your life getting better. And that's impressive to me in itself.